There are sort of two halves to what we're looking at this legislative session. We have the SCR 15 study, and then we have water. The three things we want concerning SCR 15. So we want them to finish the study. Point blank. I mean, they've already diminished the study to only five sites, five injection sites in the whole state. They refuse to prioritize communities where people are sick and where they've complained. The DEP has a whole database of complaints. Black water, bad water, dropped water, toxic water. They would not prioritize those places. They picked five random samples in the state. So we want them to finish this small study. Then we want the DHHR to do their part and do the health surveys where people are sick and complaining about black water. And the third part is we don't want any new slurry permits until the study is done. Just stop issuing it until you can say that it's really safe. We got this resolution passed uh, a couple years ago, uh, which the legislature mandated uh, a few steps in this resolution. Uh, one of them is uh, how the slurry migrate, uh, what's in slurry, and how does it affect human health. Well, some of the tips we got here, uh, you know, it, it talks about when you go in, uh, like with community people that's been impacted, such as friends, and you go before the uh, legislature, there, there's no stronger power than telling the legislature your own stories, what you're experiencing in your community. Because, you know, uh, these legislatures don't have to live directly where we live at. I mean, they, they may live outside the area. So therefore, you know, there's nobody that knows the situation any better than the people who live there. Introduce yourself, share information, make the ask, take a picture, and then report on, on how it went. How are you doing, Mr. Senator Nelson? How are you doing? Uh, we, my name is Larry Gibson, and this is a group from the Burner Hospital. Right. Yeah, I've heard so. Uh, well, we want to introduce you to the water we got here. And uh, anybody got a camera want to take a picture of me and him? <laughs> yeah. um, we, we really looking to give you some information. I uh, had some handouts I just gave you that you don't even have yet. And we want to know if you'd be interested in half of the committee and the citizens here for clean water. Well, yeah, any, any time it comes to the issue of you know, clean water, I believe everybody has the right to clean water. So, yeah. I'll do what I can. Well, you know that your constituents are getting sick and dying because of mine waste that's filtered <coughs> into their water. And the Department of Environmental Protection had promised well over a year ago that they, would, that they had plenty of money and that they would complete a study. And that then the Department of Health and uh, Human Resources was to follow up on the health impacts. But DEP uh, has not completed the test. They wouldn't test where we know people are sick. And we know you're extremely busy and you've got a lot of important issues. But ultimately, what's more important than people having clean, safe drinking water? You know, there are alternatives ultimately to coal. And someday we're going to have to find alternatives. But there is no alternative to clean water. Well, you know, like I say, you know, there's nothing more important than clean water to these communities. You know what the alternative is to clean life, don't you, or clean health, or better health. The alternative to, to better health is no health at all. And uh, this is why we took our own self to come and see you. And we were hoping that you would reach out to the other members yourself, too, and give us a hand to influence them to look at the issue. My water samples are at Snowshoe right now, and this is only from our area. They're pretty nasty. And the hydrogen sulfide gas is so bad that it sets off the meter that they would shut down industry for. If you walk into a person's home and that meter goes off and it does not shut up until they take it outside, uh, that would be reason to close down an industry. But yet we're allowed to live in it. We're allowed to drink it. We're allowed to bathe in it. We're allowed to wash our dishes and our clothes in it. And it's not an emergency. But the county commission and the PSD in our county, they are treating it as an emergency situation, but yet there's no funding coming toward us. 
there's no money coming toward us other than this truck. Yeah. Well, okay, so we all got to say it together. Okay, so on three, ready? One, two, three.